Hi, my name is Jay Zone, and you're checking out the Backyard Breaks promo video. Word. Backyard Breaks is essentially a uh, follow-up to 2014's Lunch Breaks, my uh, drum break record series. Uh, I didn't want to call it Lunch Breaks Part 2 because Part 2 is always flop. It's the same idea as Lunch Breaks though. Drum breaks for, for sampling producers who like that kind of a sound. I mean, I've been a sampling producer for 23 years now, showing my age, but I kind of play drum breaks that I would sample myself um, to kind of keep that sound going. You know, nowadays a lot of cats are getting sued for sampling drums, even little kicks and snares. It's pretty crazy, so I tried to put some time into my craft and keep that sound alive. Uh, some of those drum breaks that are 40, 50 years old, the producers have that option without worrying about get busted. <laughs> Lunch Breaks had a very specific niche kind of a sound, open, jazzy, boomy, late 60s kind of a sound. I think with Backyard Breaks, I just wanted to try to get some of the sounds of the 70s, even into the 80s, just punchier, more focused sounds. I got people of all different genres, like all different tempos and patterns. I don't just do these for myself, so I wanted to get feedback from other producers and people who use these, so I just got a wider range of sounds and styles, really. But similar to Lunch Breaks, I replayed some classic stuff that people might know and I came up with some original stuff on my own. So trying to mix something that I would do with some of the breaks we all know and love and just put my twist on it. As for the recording part, I mean, I'm a Craigslist hound and an eBay hound and I, I've always bothered people for old drums and stuff. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nut like I was with records. So I had tons of drum sets, cymbals, snares, borrowing things from people, microphones coming in and out of here. So throughout the process of all that gear exchange and everything, I was able to get some different sounds and do a lot of recording. <laughs> From a, a sound perspective, Lunch Breaks, a lot of people said it was loud. It was already ready to go. It was mastered and that's cool, but I wanted to give the producer a little bit more free reign with the sound. So this time around, I gave a little more headroom, kept the volume a little lower. You know, just going off feedback from what people told me just to make a better product sonically. I still consider myself a beginner or a novice with drums. I mean, I've only been playing three going on four years. So to me, this is all part of my education. You know, I, I come down here, I, I try to meet demands of people. I mean, I've done drum replays for Danger Mouse, Marco Polo, the Fresh Dress film score, the Stretch and Bobbito documentary, listening to the greats, how they were recorded, how they played. This is all part of my education. And then when I leave here, I, I go play with other people so I can learn to play with other musicians. Cause that's what it's all about, just learning and having fun. And if you can sample that and I can save you a lawsuit, great. <laughs> Cause I don't have the money to come after you myself. So just give me some credit or something.